channel for you, Jeremy at Rustics Pond. Um, just a second video shot on the same day as we've done the, uh, the, the monster baits testing. Now, what I've done is I've taken some paste. This is a green mamba. I've, I've taken the paste that we had before from the other session and I've added a little bit of green mamba and I've added some water to it. Now, as you can see, it's sort of a really thick, pulpy paste and we don't want that. We're just going to add some more water to it and make it a real real sl soupy sloppy mess really is what we're looking for I'll, I'll bring it up to camera and you can see like I say it's a, a sort of soupy mess and what we want to do here is we're going to feed this um, in a pot in, in the upper layers of the water and fish the pellet um, so pellet and slop is the way forward I'll uh, set back up on the box you can have a look and uh, we'll get, get started. Right guys, similar to my shallow fishing uh, episode, I've got a small, uh, really small inline float, uh, two, two number eights underneath it, 015, uh, sorry, 014, uh, uh, down to an 015 hook link, with a KKMB uh, hook on there, and a, uh, a banded six. Now, Unfortunately, in my gear, I, I used to have loads of sort of cad pots that used to um, have no holes in, <laughs> but I've only got the Presto ones which I use for everything, which have got holes in at the bottom. So I always carry in my box um, some insulating tape, and it comes in handy for everything. And so I've just gone literally taped it round um, around the outside to allow me to to have that on uh, without the holes obviously cutting into uh, and dripping all the, the liquid out so what we're going to do now is just get that bad boy on just move a little bit of that tape for a second so i can peg it on um so the, the most important bits are obviously having this is essential you, you do need the cad pot and i'll show you why so cad pot's on make sure that it's on properly we've got the the pellet on already um and here we have the soup mix or slot mix whatever you want to call it so just make sure you give it a stir so it's all all mixed and nice and soupy good to have a towel with you when you fish this method um, and effectively what we're doing is filling that, that pot up Firm that pot up and then shipping out. Try not to spill too much. I did fill that a bit big, a bit too much. Uh, and what this does is create an, a cloud in the upper layers of the water. And that's what we're going to fish uh, with the pellet through. So I'll just ship that out. Using the same technique as you do in shallow fishing, you're flicking, flicking it over and it's going into that, that cloud of slop. <laughs> and fish there straight away. It's quite a, a um, busy method. You, you have to keep shipping in and shipping back out um, quite regularly to keep that feed to keep that feed going in I do accompany it with pellets as always um, but that attraction that that, that slot makes that great, catches the the fish pretty sharpish lovely uh, rod is that beautiful fish a bar of gold. Stunning fish. Let's go back with that. That slop again. That's really good to uh, to put down the edge as well. We're going to fish down the edge. Just looking over at, at Glenn who's 
my friends fishing with us has uh, just caught his first goldfish. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of them in here. Top calm, get back out to that area. I'm fishing me far. Hold you, you bait quite high above the water to get maximum splash. And get that on it, it went straight away then in that cloud. I went to fish straight away. Here's a very quick method. Into another fish. All these little rods, but the uh, the clouds doing its job. What we'll do is uh, we'll we'll change the camera angle and uh, allow you to see how effective it is. So I'm gonna this one and get him back. Like I say, super effective method. If it's uh, it's done right on this. Oh, this is Mamba's high attraction. It's got the very, very small particles in it. It's very, um, creates a great cloud in the water. At the moment, they're just small fish, but hopefully, there'll be uh, bigger fish uh, to come. So it's, it's almost like using your shallow fishing in regards to, to flipping it over. Um, pulling in and out of a fish there straight away. Like I say, you're, you're not feeding, you're feeding a cloud, but you're not feeding um, bait. So the only bait that's there for them to eat is your, your hook bait. So it can become a very devastating uh, method. I give it usually a couple, a couple of flicks out there and then I'll come back in and, uh, and reload to keep that swim, swim going. Back in now, and I'll put some more mixture in. Shallowed up just a little bit as they start to come in. Um, yeah, up in the water. As soon as they start to get onto the slot, then it's they, they, they become a lot shallower. <laughs> nice look out. All full of beans, perfectly hooked in the, in the mouth. Let's get them back in, let's get another pellet on and see if we can have some more. As you can see, you need a, a bait like a mamba or a, a, a bait that clouds up well in the water to do the slop. Um, and I, that's why I prefer a green bait or sometimes a red bait, depending on what, what um, uh, depending on what sort of place you're fishing and what colour, but um, 
the, I think Monster Bates do do a, uh, a red one as well, if I'm right, if I'm right in thinking. I'm sure I tested that last year when I did um, uh, slow sinking bread with this uh, same feed method. So as you can see now, there's fish topping out there, ready for the bait. That's what we want. It really is important that you sort of hold up it from a height and that allows them to uh, you know, bait and then flick it over it sits into that bait. Like I said, your bait's the only bait that's there. back there straight away and also when you, you're pouring it in from a height you're also creating that sound on the water which you are then mimicking by flicking over the, uh, the bait Great, fantastic bite there, straight on. No hanging about these little carp when they want the bait. Like I say, straight into that, into that slop. And they're uh, starting to get uh, switched on to it now. And a beautiful little, little stocky. these floats, these are uh, shot. Can get even shorter. finish on. Just proves how effective that mamba is in getting the fish feeding competitively over a small area and quickly. That's it, that's fish to end on. Fish to, to end the session on. Let's get him back in. So, like I said in a previous video, you know, Mamba um, is a great product. Um, it's, it's high in attraction, works brilliant. It's, this sloppy paste is it, like this sloppy, um, um, sloppy feed and pellet is, is, is a really good method and uh, you should definitely give it a try, especially coming in these summer months. Um, just be prepared to work a little bit with it, because obviously it, it's a working method, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Um, join us on the Facebook group, Angling For You, on the Instagram, Angling, angling Underscore For You, and uh, like and subscribe, guys. Thanks a lot. Tight lines.